Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. How has everybody been this week? I've been pretty good. Got a lot to share with you guys. So Halloween, my friend came into town, Jackie from Canada. She spent a few days with us. So we did quite a bit of things. I'll get to that in a second. My best friend, Amy, celebrated her birthday October 30th. And at that time I wasn't feeling well so I couldn't show up to her house but she wanted to go fishing on Saturday. So we all went fishing Saturday at the Skyway Bridge. The Skyway Bridge is a pretty big deal. Back in 1980s or something like that, the original bridge actually collapsed and a lot of people lost their life. So they built a new Skyway Bridge and the only problem with this Skyway Bridge is a lot of people tend to commit suicide on this bridge. It goes up pretty high. It's a beautiful bridge at night as well. You can see the lights and they change colors it's really cool but it it has a lot of history the bridge that we went to is actually a fishing pier you have to pay to get on but the nice thing is they have bathrooms and they have a fishing place that you can buy your bait from so it's really nice and when we went out I didn't have the greatest fishing line on it but hey it worked right so who caught the first fish Carlos did and Carlos is Amy's husband he caught the first fish of the night who caught the second fish Amy did Amy caught her second fish now who caught the third fish? This girl right here did. Now put your finger on the line, release this, and then you just... Like a pro. That's right. And let me tell you guys something. It freaked me out, because when it took my pole, the little thing that you, you know, reel your fish back in, it started going really fast and it hit my fingers and I was like, oh my gosh, Carlos, come help me, because Gene was in the van at the time. So he comes over and he's helping me, you know, he's pulling on the line and I'm reeling it in and then Gene, you know, starts helping, because it was a lot. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get whatever this was. I'm thinking it's a stingray, you know, something big, had no idea. Yo, check this out. I can't believe I caught this. Take a look. Get that up. Oh. 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 Yeah. Right? Can you believe that? This thing was like four feet or something. I couldn't believe I caught a shark. Like, what? I caught a shark. It was the coolest thing ever. Unfortunately, this is what happened. As you have to have pretty good line, at least enough weight to bring the fish up or the shark or whatever you call it to the surface. So as it came to the surface, yes, it was there, but my line wasn't strong enough. So as I'm trying to get the shark up, you know, Amy, sometimes you take the line and you'll pull on it to help, you know, relieve some of the pressure from the pull on the line. But as it came up out of the water a little bit, boom. Line snapped, shark gone. Unfortunately, I feel bad because I would love to take the hook out of its mouth, but it took it all. And after that, it was like he scared every shark away, guys. Literally, no one caught another fish the whole night. It was like nothing. You throw your pole out there, feel a couple nibbles, and it was pretty windy, so you couldn't really tell if the fish was biting or not. By the time you like pulled back in your line, your bait's gone, didn't catch anything. We still stayed there for a few hours. It was a lot of fun getting out of the house and hanging out. Now, I did go to Publix and buy Amy a small birthday cake so we could sing happy birthday to her because she's been one of my best friends. She's been there for me, a great friend, you know, helped me out through hard times, so I wanted to appreciate her, so we had cake for her. Now, I didn't find any candles, but I bought these sparkler candles, which is really funny because at the end, she tried to blow out the candle and you can't blow it out. Sorry, Amy, I gotta put this on here because I thought it was hilarious. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> so I thank you for inviting me, Jean and Jackie, to come out and fish with you guys that night. So during the week, you know, I wanted to show Jackie around town and show her some places because she loves the paranormal and loves Omar's videos. So I took her to the Spring Hill Cemetery. We did not film anything. We just kind of walked around and looked at the headstones and which ones were the oldest and stuff like that. It was really, it was a nice day out. Didn't think about pulling my camera out all the time. I will try to start pulling my camera out more for you guys so you can come along with us. After that, I took her to the Wikiwachi Springs just to show her the water. It was freezing outside. Now you may say, freezing, Melissa, Pfft, you live in Florida. Well, when it hits 60s here, let me tell you, it is 
freezing outside. Now to you guys, it's funny because when northern people come down to Florida, they want to go to the beach, they think it's beautiful, and here I'm with a jacket, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm freezing. Well, a little story about me is I'm always cold. Anybody that knows me will tell you I'm always freezing, I'm never like warm, I get cold really, really easy, and I think I get it from my dad, because my dad's the same way. No, I am not anemic. I actually have very high iron at times, so don't have an issue with that. I just get cold really easily. And like I tell people, yes, I have a warm heart, but I also have a cold side. So took her um, through the Maystringer house, we did a tour. During the tour, during the day, you are not allowed to film or take pictures due to privacy stuff. They have a lot of antiques in there and they don't really want people knowing what's in the house due to theft. You can only do videos and pictures when you do the ghost tour at night. That is about the only time. So I don't have any pictures, but we did go through it. It's really cool if you love history and you love to see old things i suggest you take a tour it's five bucks per person to get in they show you the whole entire house and it's amazing just to see like the old dolls and the old stuff that they had and the history of how it was back in the day it's really cool i love seeing it i know everybody doesn't i remember taking my daughter and actually ariel there once and they were like ah eh, this is okay but they loved they have this phone room and it has like all the old switchboards and like the old telephones so it's like really cool to see how history's come about and evolved till now guys. When we left the May Stringer, I took her down to the Saxon house. Now the Saxon house is a private property for weddings so you're not allowed to go in there so I just kind of drove around there and showed her that. I also tried to take her to the ghost town. Unfortunately that is an off no no now it has no trespassing and at nighttime they have a security guard so if anybody's thinking about going there anymore do not go there guys just for you guys and just for the warning i'm just letting you know the next day was a pretty busy day because i have to get up take my kids to school because i don't have a bus where they go to school they're not zoned for my my area here so i take them in the morning and then i have come home and then about 12 20 i gotta go back and pick up ethan now you ask why is ethan getting picked up at 12 20. well ethan is actually in college classes yes he will be graduating hopefully with an associate's degree i'm so proud of him he's been working really really hard so he gets picked up a bit earlier so i pick him up at 12 20 and then after that jackie wanted to get a tattoo to be reminded of her trip in florida and she absolutely loves the palm trees came out really nice it's a cute tattoo it was on her chest i think she did a great job Job. They say the chest hurts a little bit more. Hopefully if she sees this she will leave a comment and tell you if it hurt or not. After I took her tattoo I had to go pick up Ethan at 1220 come home and to a surprise my dog had diarrhea. Diarrhea in his cage like ah have you ever had that moment when you come home because I'm still crate training him and there's diarrhea everywhere so the cage and the dog goes outside and I gotta bathe him and clean his cage out it was one heck of a day after that we came home and we got ready to go to painting with a twist now the reason it is called painting with a twist guys is because you can BYOB bring your own beverage now if you are over the age of 21 you are allowed to bring alcohol wine to the place and i guess that's where the twist comes in because you start drinking and you get a little like you know woo -hoo, loosen up and you're painting and just having a great time which i'll be 100 percent with you i am not a drinker i've never been drunk in my entire life doesn't agree with my stomach don't like wine i've tried different wines just ugh. don't like beer so yep never been drunk in my life <laughs> But we had a great time. It was me, Malia, Ethan, Max, Jean, Jackie, Amy, and Jason. So it was all of us that went along. We all did a great job. Obviously, everybody's painting is different, which makes it unique. So did you accidentally drink the dirty paint water or something along the way? Are we celebrating? We or are we just getting out as a squad? Just getting, just getting out. Just if you're in the area, if you have one at hometown, it could be expensive sometimes, but it's definitely something to try out just once. It's a lot of fun. We all painted. As you can see, the paintings all came out different. And that's the great thing about it is everybody paints different. I don't know where Gene kind of took his. He kind of like didn't follow directions or just had his own creativity mind. But we had a lot of fun. Even though I was exhausted from the day, 
I still went out with the kids and we still had a great time. I hope you liked the paintings that we did. I did share them to my social media on Instagram and Twitter. So if you do not follow me, my descriptions are down below. You can follow me there. And if you don't know what the description is, they're actually very important sometimes. A lot of people will put their PO box in there, different videos in there, their Twitter and, and Instagram stuff. Everything is down below there. If you don't know where that's located, leave me a comment down below and I will show you guys on my next video how to get to that description part. I also went to the doctors on Thursday and my GI doctor, she is trying to see what's going on. She's checking me for Crohn's again. I have to do one more test. When that comes back, depending on what that says, I have to go for another colonoscopy. Ugh. If you guys don't know what a colonoscopy is, Google it, because I'm not gonna tell you guys. The worst part about a colonoscopy, I would say, is the prep part. It's so annoying. You literally can't leave the house, and you better be like two seconds from the bathroom, because you're gonna be running. I mean, running to the bathroom. It sucks, but I gotta see what's going on to make my belly better and to get all this stuff you know fixed so I will keep you guys updated with that it's probably gonna be a few weeks because the test takes about three weeks once I do it and then we go from there so fingers crossed I don't have Crohn's disease hopefully it's just I don't know anymore you know I'm hoping for the best I am gonna be switching my insurance to a different insurance to get a better doctor because I want to start doing more things um, I know a lot of people wonder what's wrong with me I'm actually going to be making a video all about my health and when it started and how it started and what I've been through and it's gonna be pretty graphic so I don't recommend this video for everybody because I'm going to be blunt with you guys about what I've been through and my journey and the struggles and just how it affects you on a daily life so stay tuned for that video guys. So this Saturday, me and Jean are taking our first trip ever. I am not telling you where I'm going yet. It's going to be fun. It's going to be freezing. I will say that much about it. Going to be a lot going on next week. Not so much this week going on. Um, just really getting ready to leave and packing up and getting the house together, stuff like that. But the following week, it's going to be amazing. I will have a lot of videos of what I did and where I went and what I seen. So stay tuned for that, guys. If you guys have any ideas, or anything that you would like. Blah! Let's try that again. If you guys have ideas for videos, leave them down below as well in the comments and I will try to do those. So that's really about all that happened this week. Again, of course, I'm more busy when I have the kids because I have to run more. I've been watching Netflix. If you guys got any good shows or any good movies that you recommend, leave a comment down below as well. I just finished The Island. I actually been watched it. I thought it was amazing. I am a huge horror flick, so I've probably watched almost every horror flick on Netflix. But if not, still leave me a comment. Love to check them out, guys. And if you want to send mail, my PO box is down below. I want to start doing fan mail openings. Also, I wanted to share, I did get my first fan mail. Now, it did not come from my PO box, but it was sent to one of my friends, and it was from Julie, and I want to show you what she got me. And believe it or not, Julie, I just realized I just found the card. Crazy as that sounds, I was like, oh my gosh, she sent a card. So let me share that with you guys really quick before we say bye. So she sent me this really pretty bracelet with some crystals on it. A couple magnets here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. It's some magnets. And then she also sent me this very pretty card and it has a little necklace and it says, keep your wishes close at heart. I'm so thankful that you sent this and I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all our vets out there. I actually have a brother and uncle. My brother is a retired Marine and my uncle is a retired Navy, or Navy SEAL. Um, so I want to thank all of you guys for, you know, doing your duty, going to work every day, serving our country. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, leave a comment down below, and share it to your social media. Also, if you want to send fan mail, my PO box is down below in the description. I will be doing fan mail pretty soon. So until next time, guys, love you all.